Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about public DNS. Now, before doing that, we also need to register a domain. Now, you can do that using cloud domains, but registering a domain in GCP is quite expensive. So what you can do is you can actually register it in some other services. For example, I've registered a few using GoDaddy. So these are the three domains that I have. So what I'll do is I'll create a zone for these particular domains. So what I'll I'll take this particular domain and I'll register a particular zone in our cloud DNS for this particular domain. So let's see how we can do that. So what we need to do is you need to go to your cloud DNS. You need to click on create zone. And this time we choose public zone. So you can just give this a name. So let's just call this as my public zone. And here you can just give a DNS. So I'll just give the same DNS. So it'll be very lazy coders dot in. So for this particular chapter, I'll switch off DNS security. Uh, that's something that I'll talk about and you can just click on create. So I've already created a DNS zone for this particular domain. So let me show you how that looks like. So this is the zone that I've created. So let me open this. So the next step that you need to follow is you need to go to the name server for this particular domain. So let's edit this. And here you'll get four name servers. So what you need to do is you need to register two of these name servers in your primary account that contains your particular domain. So that is precisely what I have done. So I've taken these two name servers. I've gone to my main GoDaddy page in which my domain is registered. So I go to my DNS here. And underneath, you can find something called as name server. So what you need to do is you need to change this. So this is not the default. So this is something that I had added yesterday because it takes around 24 hours to register. And I want you to show the, and I, and I want you guys to see the output right now. So what I have done is I've just clicked on change here. I've gone to enter my own name servers. And here, what I have done is I've just taken this and I've pasted it over here. And that's precisely what I have done. So I've taken the NS Cloud B1 and the NS Cloud B2 and I've pasted it over here. And once you save it, it takes around 24 hours for these particular name servers to be registered or to be reflected. So once you've done that, the next thing that you need to do is you just need to create a A type record for your particular IP address. And that is what I've done here as well. So let me show you how you can do that. You can just click on A record type, add record type. And here you can just add your IP address. So I have a virtual machine. So let me just show you my virtual machine. So let's open this. And in this particular example, so in a previous example, that is the private DNS, I had used this internal. For this particular example, we need to use the external IP and that's precisely what I've done. I just copied this and I've clicked on create and here I'm not adding any subdomain. So it's going to be very lazy coders dot in that is going to point to this particular address. And I've already created a particular entry for that. So let me just show that to you. Let's open this. So let's edit resource type here. So here you can see that I've not added any subdomain and it's pointing to the same IP address. And let's cancel this. So this was done yesterday. And the reason for this is it takes around two to three hours for these particular changes to reflect. So now all that I need to do is I can go to my command prompt. And all that I need to do is I just need to ping a particular domain. So let's just ping very lazy coders dot in and it should return me back the IP address. And you can see that it's returning me back this particular IP address that is 34, 71, 125 and 24. And this is basically the IP address of our virtual machine here. So that is how you use your public DNS. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next.